okay guys so what did they actually want from namdi kano because i don't know why they are just frustrating this man did they want to kill this man in in the hands of the dss why are they actually frustrating him if they want to grant him bill let them grant him bill and what is the cause of all this frustration here and there this one the client they just keep on denying this guy depriving him of his rights and it's not good because this man is supposed to have been set free if sunday go and eme Fili with um sorry has been set free why is it that um nam the canoe's own is different i'm going to tell you why nam the canoe own is different as you stick with me to the very end of this video and this video is going to explain to you this the massive problem nam the canoe has just faced to few hours ago in the court okay so and um this video is still going to explain to you why and the main reason why they have been you know continuing to detain Nandikano for so long despite Tinubu has even released some terrorists that have committed um huge crime they have been released but Nandikano who they don't even have enough evidence against is still in the hands of the DSS so hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are watching my video for the very first time, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also do me a favor to turn on the notification bell icon. What the notification bell icon does is that whenever I put out a new video on this channel, you are going to be among the first set of people to get the notification. So, um, let me start with the main reason why, you know, they have been detaining Nam the Kanu for so long. You know, Nam the Kanu is the kind of person that can expose a lot of hidden secrets committed by top politicians. And those politicians making money with insecurity, you understand, are trying hard to see that Nam the Kanu is not released because they know if Nam the Kanu is released, making money from insecurity in the East and everywhere in the East will be a problem and will be a barrier for them. That's why they have been trying hard to see that Nam the Kanu is not released. And the big problem that the can is facing right now is that the federal government has turned down the condition advanced by the ten leader of the indigenous prescribed um, indigenous people of Biafra Namdekano for the resumption of his trial. So they have de de um, declined it, and that to be the further notice. Imagine, look at what they are doing to this man, and you are telling me that the uh, top politician does not have hands in this case. They are, they probably have hands because. Nam the Kano's detention is not just ordinary. If it's an ordinary detention, Nam the Kano will have been set free. Either he might pay uh, some uh, amount of money and he will be set free, or they might, he might have win in court. But you know, they have been trying to, you know, die down all his evidence and everything to just see that he continues staying in the hands of the DSS. So the detained IPOB leader at the reception resumption of his trial at the federal high court in Abuja had through his lawyer gave three conditions for the prosecution to meet for the constitutional of his trial okay and kanu through his lawyer Alo ijimako among other demanded that the bail granted him earlier be restored to enable him prepare for his defense he claimed that the bail was erroneously revoked based on false and fraudulent claim on the federal government can you see how they have declined um the the bill that um the lawyer actually filed against the federal government and you know we still see how things go okay so kano also requested city setting aside the arrest the arrest warrants issued against him based on allegation by the government that he had jumped bail and escaped out of the country so you understand there's no any solid evidence you know they said uh, why they have they have given two reasons now they said first reason why they arrest namikano is because he escaped they said he escaped the country why they asked him to come to court two again they said he's participating in terrorism acts in the country which there is no solid evidence for that but you know when there's people behind your arrest it's gonna take you difficulty to come out from it okay so that's why you have to be careful on what you say and the way you do things okay so he also demanded that his lawyer must be permitted to have on in that access to him as required by the law okay so the biafra agitator said that he would be willing to face accelerated trial once the condition are met okay however the federal government through its council chief ade boyega awomolu um, san asked the court to reject the condition on the ground that they are frivolous vaxatious irritating and baseless the senior lawyer said that the court had earlier rejected the bail application and as such the court cannot ever rule itself okay so 
Awomolo urged that the only op opinion um, option open to Kano is to go to court of appeal to challenge the reject bill. So if Anamdekano actually go to challenge it and nothing happen, so they will keep on putting Anamdekano in the hand of DSS and he might face more bigger issues. So for me, detaining Anamdekano for no reason or some reason which is not yet genuine is is, is is like they have deprived him of his rights. So what they have to do is that either they should grant Anamdekano bail or they should judge things according to the way they did to other people because the way they are judging Anamdekano is like it's like a, a partial judgment, you understand? If you release Sunday Igbohu, Emefele and other um this thing terrorists why can't you lose Nam the Kanu? Why is it that Nam the Kanu's judgment is quite different from other ones? So let me hear from your own opinion in the comment section. See you in my next video.